how you all doing? The amount of anger I have in me right now at this moment. It's hard to quantify. Oh, oh good. Oh, well, never mind, I fixed it. <laughs> oh, oh, so on top of the big thing, you're gonna start giving me small things. Mm. So, I finished this game. Completely finished, did a whole recording, took about three hours, but I finished it. All first things and all of that beat it and all was good. I edited it. I rendered it and I uploaded it. 100% completed. All right, YouTube, what are you doing? Well, it's 100% uploaded, so we're good. We're just gonna process. Oh, we're at 100% processing. Oh, good, so I can go ahead and delete these things. And you know what? I need to start recording the next video, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete them out of my cycling bin. Delete, delete, delete. Okay, good to go. YouTube, how you doing? We're still going fine. Okay. Go do my recording, go to work the next day, come home, take a look at YouTube to make sure all the things are up to do, and oh no! Processing abandoned video must be automatically deleted. I'm not happy! So I had to re-download the game and play up to this bit. Just ignore this for a moment. I had to play up to this bit so I could redo the whole thing again. Now, now what really makes me mad is I ran into everything fresh. Now it's not going to be fresh. Because... <laughs> yeah, you know what? Play, play as you speak. Play as you speak. What did happen to these people? What did they do here? They did mass of death. So unfortunately, unlike before, where I'll learn at the same time as you do, I now have... I could use some of those tools. Great. I know all the answers, and I have context, so we're not going to be figuring it out together. Now just me wrapping things up. But other than that, hey... Fine, I'll do it again. So I'm sorry if I'm not super duper invested. However, I will at least give it a shot. Because it, it, it did get, the one thing it did do is give me a, a chance to breathe in and contemplate this. Now look at this. The light is pretty strong. It's aimed at those refrigerators that line that wall. For some reason, that feels oddly reassuring. Now why is that? Well, if you remember, we lit the morgue up. And if you remember the f the fridges, his body's bringing back memories. I lost count of the times I had to ID a dead friend's body at the morgue. Damn heroin! Yeah, she has a dark path. If you remember the fridge in the kitchen, there was tentacles of doom. Oh, guess what? Oh. Same thing here. Wait, something's not right. Why would they close the fridge with this belt? Maybe what happened before. So hey, oh. should I untie the belt to take it? Yes. And then we're good to go. I now have a belt. I wonder what that's going to be useful for. Leather strap similar to a belt. Torn into it. I wonder if I can fix it. So. If you did not have the light go into the morgue, the moment you take off the belt, tentacles of doom emerge, and there's not a door to protect you this time, so fuck you. <laughs> the staff must have been overwhelmed with all this. The second experiment report. Okay, so let me go ahead and redo this. Two of the patients of the experimental group have disappeared. I was doing rounds in the East Wing when I began to hear screams coming from the cells. I went in that direction to try and calm the patients down, but they were non-responsive. I'm not even sure if they could hear me. Their screaming was so loud. I ran to the security room and returned with the manager. As soon as he opened the cell, we saw it was empty. We could hear shrieking sounds all around us, so it was impossible to know for sure. But I swear the loud screams were coming from the very room we were about to enter. Besides, as soon as we opened the door, all of the screaming ceased at once. We've checked the rest of the cells, and one of them is empty. But no one moved any of the patients. What the hell is going on? I must get to the bottom of this. So two people have disappeared after being after hearing the spooky song. I'm sure nothing bad will come of that. Alright. So, at, you know what? There is one, one good thing about having to redo this. You won't be subjected to me wandering around like a lost puppy 
up until I figured out where I'm supposed to go at this point. So that thing up there is 100% the lift, as we guessed before. I'm going to ignore it for now and just move this way. I think we should be fine doing it this way. I don't think I need to investigate the lift before we know we need to use it. I'm also curious if they're going to throw the exact same spooks at me. Because I actually got one of every spook. Thank God I only had to deal with the silence once. Okay, so... <laughs> there it is. Okay, I was looking for the stairs. So what do we need to do at this point? Well, we got a scalpel, right? Now, I know what you're thinking, and you're kind of right. But... If you're just kind of yeah, thinking more broadly, a scalpel is a small, sharp instrument. What could, what do you need a very sh uh, small and sharp instrument, or at least flat instrument, to do? Why? Lockpick, of course. And there was only one thing here that we did not open yet. All right. All right. Mm. See there! Ah, it's ruining, it's ruining the surprises and shit. Now that I know what's gonna happen, ah, I hate it. Damn it! Oh, it was also a good, a very, very good, strong puzzle that I did first try, real good. And it's like, yeah, I told you I'm smart. I told you I knew what I was doing. I, it's kind of lost now. Wow. Damn, this box is heavy. Maybe I could open it and see what's yes. inside. Emergency flares. To help illuminate the darker areas. Flares. Hello. I did it again. Is there someone there? I did it again. This is the second time I've just moved without listening to what she had to say. Hmm. What's in this spook room? I wonder. What's that sound? It's just an 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 ref. More story. It's absurd. I don't even know why I came here, why I'm here. Because I'm insane! I've really begun to believe my patient's story. Yes! And yet, there's something that I can't explain. It might just be my mind playing tricks on me, but I've started seeing things. And I hear the music from Ariadne's music box in my head. I it need to Cthulian. understand this. There's <laughs> something threatening about this place. The candles help me make the room a bit more cozy. And they smell so good. And the last good. rays of sunshine still come in through the window. But the shadows in this room make me feel uneasy. <laughs> All I've done is clean off the dust from an old mattress and lie on it, without even taking my clothes off, since I don't really think I'll get much sleep in this place. The silence here is oppressive. Almost... Solid. This is a Simon Hill house. Aside from the still hum of the phonograph and the old wooden beams creaking, I can't hear a single thing. Yeah. Ariadne? Where am I? So, I still, I still have a big, like... Where am I? You know, am this... I dreaming? This place that still looks exactly the same. What do you mean? Where are you? You dumb? The photograph stopped. Am I awake? Hmm. Like, I can't cross that door. I mean, like, yeah, you can have the sensation of dreaming, but, like, if the room looks... If the room still looks like the room, come on. Can't see anything outside. There's nothing but darkness. Darkness and doom. Uh... I don't know if you can die during these sequences, but I'm not going to take chance. I did it without dying, so we'll see. What is this place? Ah, yes. Oh, look. Argos Legrand. He has a music box, and then he hung himself after he murdered his family. Legrand. Why am I seeing him? Oh, look. It's her. What is she doing in this painting? Me. <laughs> It's here. I felt it again. 
It happens sometimes, though, always at night, when I turn out the lights, almost unperceivably, barely, just barely past where my eyes can see. Or when I close my eyes, watching me, with eyes that are not such, lurking in the frontier between wakefulness and sleep. My dreams are unusual and my rest troubled. When I wake up, I remember seeing something in the distance, through a window, that I could barely make out, or in a fleeting reflection on the bright surface of the river, as I walk arm in arm with my fiancé. Lost in the muds of the Great War. Other times, I dream a crowd is watching me, and that thing is there, among their gray faces devoid of expression. As soon as I notice its existence, I stop being capable of finding it. Do I really want to? Do I mean to find it? What does it all mean? <gasps> Spooky bust! <laughs> I didn't notice her do that before. <laughs> He actually recoiled. I was like, what? Where did this bus come from? Wake up. You gotta wake up, Leela. It's... It, it, it's me. After all this time, it's me. It's you! So what I'm saying is that she's actually... We're, we're playing as Chara right now. This is another, this is another dimension Chara. Or Kara. Or Kara. I don't know. I, I think people say Kara. I know it's supposed to be short for character, but like. I would be like. Ah! Anyway. Spooks! I. The pictures don't matter. And I'm still not taking a chance with this. Yep. Okay, good. Now we get to. A nice. Greenish room. room, and yet it's not. Welcome to PT, guys. This is where PT ended up. Who is this person? What has happened to him? Poor Husher. He died playing the mirror Why game. Am I seeing these people? There's Pi. Is a, a fucking creepy pasta midnight game of that. Oh, I read all those, and it's just like, no. Why would do this? Oh God. Who would paint pictures like this? Who is this man? It's the gritting man. Oh shit. I just made another. I was just mentioned another one. Oh man, that that face that Farber has when he's hung, that's fucking creepy. I also hate him for the next section, which I'll tell you when that happens. I dare not name it, but I know it's here. There is a presence that follows me everywhere and nowhere at once. In the walls and ceilings, but also buried in my mind. Digging through my thoughts and painting them in the color of fear. Everything becomes a little darker each day. God, what's happening to me? When there is silence, I hear the melody. Soft, slow, beautiful, dark, sinister, terrifying, and cruel. If I pay close attention, those impossible notes and unnatural chords, echoing from the deepest of caverns, reach me without passing through my ears. In my dreams, I descend towards an indescribable place I beg never to get to see. When I wake up, all I remember is the dread. That thing is at the end of the road. It is there. I know it is there, if that's even a place. They are the same. It is there. No, it is not. It equals. It equals there. It can't be. It can't be of this world. So it is talking about the indescribable... Ah, that's why she's spooked, is because of that. The indescribable horrific presence of the thing. The shadows and whatnot. Why haven't you... Again. What does this mean? It means you're still yourself. <laughs> also, no, I'll make this point in a moment. I put it together myself. I'm mad. I'm still mad that I lost the recording. I'm also mad that there's some FPS loss in this area, but it's just this area in specific. I don't know why. I can also see... Not screen tearing, but like jagged things. Although that might just be the reflection off the dame. I should have closed the curtain. Now this room. Where am I going? A deep, dark, viscous red of doom. What? What does this have to do with me? What does Daniel have to do with anything? I've never seen him before. And then, it's the old woman from Ariadne's drawing. It's Ariadne, according to herself. 
<laughs> so now we've definitely gone into Silent Hill. So yes, if you notice, everyone who's ever been in contact with the uh, with the box seems to have a portrait in here. Those are male and female figures, huh? Mummified figures, but figures nonetheless. So yeah, it seems like it's almost like it's imprinting it, imprinting the people upon itself. It's behind every door, waiting for me to step through. It's in the cracks in the ceiling, waiting for me to walk in. It's in each shadow, every nook and cranny, waiting for me to turn my back. It's in the mirrors, waiting for me to look. Does it know that I'm aware of it? Please, please, tell me it doesn't. No, no, no. If it knows that I know, it will come for me. The melody twists and warps, played by grotesque instruments no person could have created. It starts out with an awful screeching sound and slowly transforms until it can be heard amidst all the shrieking and anguish. I want to close my eyes, but I'm already asleep. I can't. I don't want to get there. These are not nightmares. It's more than I that. I wish they were nightmares, but those are gone. They died of fear a long time ago. All that remains is the horror in the plateau. Only the presence and the foreboding echoes of the song. I want to disappear, stop the suffering and torment and never hear or see anything again. I want to stop the feeling. I want to stop feeling it, enduring it. But I have to finish. I must do it. I must. I must get there. So I'm not really sure who's actually making the imprints on the stone. It might be her. It might be someone else. But. So you can essentially get it. They're wanting to get to... Wake up! No. Oh god, what is happening to me? Yay! What kind of dark cave am I walking into? Tomb cave. So... Yeah, I, I, again, I don't know if it's supposed to be her uh, saying that, or someone else, or the collection of people's thoughts. I, I, what I reckon is it's a whole bunch of people's thoughts. It could be her. I mean, it makes sense. She's... I don't want to say she's the smartest one, because, I mean, they had historians and all that people in there, but... I mean... She is a doctor, so... I don't know. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The, the steps have become uncompleted. We've reached the end of the... Of the, of the influence. Now we're going into unfinished and unknown areas. Uh oh. What is this? What? Who's there? <laughs> is that me? Should I take that bag away? Take it away from myself? Yes. Expose yourself to the truth. Oh, you already know what's going to happen here. <laughs> Candles have practically melted through, and the wax cylinder on the phonograph is about to run she out. She just ruined that floor I with the something. candles. I don't know what I contemplated in my dreams, but it felt so real. It almost felt like I was moving forwards, or rather downwards. But I don't know towards what. Berenice decided to investigate Ariadne's story, and she found something. I need to keep looking into this. So instead of fully running, she embraced it and she was able to figure out some more things. What? Who knows? The drawers are stuck. Nothing I can do here. Psychiatric proofs were the turn of the century. I can't believe the things they did to the patients. <laughs> yeah. Recording two of Bernice Pristigard. Huh. Was I record testimony? Unfortunately. Let's see what happened after that dream. The phonograph is fucked up. I'm going to need another one to listen to other wax cylinder records. See, it's not me who did it. She said. I'm innocent. Poem. I drift off to sleep by the hundredth number. To be carried away despite resistance. Somewhere else out in the distance. Devoid of deep, peaceful slumber. The song, it beckons, it pulls me, it screams. Guiding me to the depths of my own mind. An ominous glimpse, the sole thing I find. Something dark, impossible to believe. These cannot be only dreams. Have I been condemned? Did I become lost? What if I'm seeing what it means? Endless expanse made of stone and past 
a perpetual eclipse to the rims of a sun that is not our own. Yay! Evil sun. I don't know what kind of... What, what kind of... But, I mean, I can kind of see it. The first and fourth... Kind of rhyme? I mean, number and slumber, yeah. Resistance, distance, technically. Screams and believe. Mm. And suddenly you go into threes, and it's just like, what? what, what Although, I don't have it. I don't have a wow. say in this. Among the strange drawings is the notes is Elaine, Ariadne's sister, murdered alongside her mother. Ariadne was just a baby. How can she remember this? Yay! You can see her dad standing in front of them, about to bash them in. And then there she is, as she's old, and standing next to the dark figure. Her dad's hung. Her family's in the dark. The dark has millions of people. And she's just constantly absorbed by the dark. Dark, 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 and dark. And I think that was her in the middle just playing music for the darkness. Alright, that's enough of that. Let's not spoil things, shall we? Alright. Are you? You're not. Oh. Well. Count myself lucky then. I got attacked in the hallway last time. Mmm, but you know what? There's still the security office. Well, you don't know how mean the director's gonna be. The director's like, did you beat this game already? Why are you doing this? <sighs> I'll be glad I'm doing this with her again. If I wanted anything out of this, I would play as a different character just so I can get another achievement or another ending, but... I figured you'd probably want to know the ending for the psychiatrist lady. Considering she's technically the most... Um... The most qualified for this. Not fighting spooks, but, you know. Fighting mental spooks. Yeah! She's a mental ghostbuster. Wait, did I? Yes, I did get it. Okay. Hi, rats. Oh, it's you this time! I'm still not entirely sure. But I think there is only one. Damn it. Ah! Stupid spook. Stop being difficult to fight. Where are you going? Where are you going? Ooh, you got really close there. That's way too fucking close. Uh, I almost didn't live to see another day. It's interesting that she knows how to just do that, right? <laughs> maybe, maybe she learned that in psychiatry school. There's the stapler, and oh, you missed the, you missed the rant. You missed the rant on how a fucking staple gun. I'll explain. When it becomes relevant. Because it's still stupid. It's still stupid. <sighs> now. I Most of you know why we're here. We got a flare box. That's supposed to illuminate the darkness. And there's only one place that's absolutely covered in dark. We couldn't really do much. And yes, you're right. That is why we're here. I do have... Yes, okay. I did activate the table. That's all I needed. So. Here's a fun thing. These are flare boxes. They do not stay lit for very long. You need to use it. Get in there. Get what you need. Get the hell out. You, you have... You have several flares, but they only last for a little bit. 
Yes. We've got some light now. Do I dare go in? Yep. And Take now. A deep I... breath. All I need is this. Huh. Thank you. Looks like a metal glove. And we're out. We're out. <gasps> you know, the flare went out immediately. <laughs> yeah, those flares do not last long. I, th I think it lasts like two minutes tops. <sighs> I timed it by just walking around for about two minutes, and then that's when I noticed it went out. So now that we have a frickin' medieval knight's glove, we can punch the ghosts! Right? I think it's pretty obvious. We No ice? Yay! Oh. I, I saw, like, a little cogwheel, and I'm like, what? That didn't make no sense. Alrighty, so here we are. What do we do? Mesh glove with leather form. Well, those steel rings. It looks like a medieval knight, but at least it will protect me. I think I just needed to. There we go. Okay. Oh. So now, should I try to grab the stapler? It's risky, but I think my arm fits in the hole. Now that you have the medieval knight's glove. Yeah! An old metal stapler. It's rusty and worn down, but still has staples. I think I can use it. What do I use the staples for? You know, a staple gun. A staple gun. Should we use it on the... You ruined it. Mm-mm. A leather belt. Should we use it on it? Uh, fixed with several staples. So not the best fix, but I hope it'll do. I mean, I'm glad that she at least acknowledges that this is kind of shitty. But. Alright. Now. You're fine. Alright. Why, you, why are you harping on this so much? I mean, yeah, it's not. Sure, it could be medical staples, but it's, the medical staples aren't that strong. I mean, staples will keep the leather belt together, but for what it's going to be used for? No way in hell. Oh, I guess I should turn power to the lift. That way I can actually use the elevator. That's kind of important, right? I'm still. Oh, the lighting effects are fucking up. At least on that bit. <laughs> it's like, ah, what are you complaining for? I mean, mm, listen. <gasps> oh shit, it's you! What? I wasn't expecting you! Wasn't expecting you. Thank God. Oh, I almost didn't live to see another day. All right, the director's become aggressive. <laughs> the director has decided to become aggressive. Hmm. I think the director knows that. Oh, you need. You're you're trying to do something, aren't you? Well, I've got to fuck up your progress. Oh, director, how dare you? It's, it's left for dead all over again, man. It's just like, oh, you're you're near the end. You're near the the safe room. Let me just spawn a tank and then spawn all four special infected right next to you. Enjoy. <laughs> all right. I'm fine. I know I complained a lot, but I'm honestly fine. By the way, those, those rooms are definitely death. 100% death. You can't hear Jack. I think the last video did... 
Pad cells. I won't be able to hear what happens on the other side. Yeah. So there's another problem with me having beat this and did all that. I don't know what was in the previous video and what was new. When I met you, you were an invalid. I thought you would end up like this, like so many other friends. But I'm not going to let that happen. Not to you! Heroin's done enough. Those bodies, for 80 years, nobody knew they were there. And if they did, nobody did anything about it. Those poor bodies. The closet is open. Hiding here will be child's play. Yeah, it's actually really important for me to have done that. No water in the sink or anything for me to use. Well, fuck me. Alright, lady. Okay, so, <laughs> the thing with the belt. Sure, I'm being a bit... Over a bit, but the belt that connects the lift's gears is shredded to pieces. Who just messaged me? Wow. Okay, that was my bank. I went there this morning. That was like 12 hours ago. The belt that connects the lift's gears is shredded to pieces. Oh. If only I could use another belt that's sturdy and strong. I'm not too confident about the result, but I'll see what else I can do. At least they acknowledge it, but you're gonna use a belt with staples. Maybe I maybe I am dumb. Maybe maybe there are like really super strong staples and I'm just an idiot. Let's get it to a power supply and I fix the dilapidated mechanism. I hope it works! I hope I don't die. Go away. There we go. Pathetic would it be if this thing falls and I die in here? <laughs> yeah, they, they at least alleviated it by addressing it, so I can't. I'm harping on it, but I really shouldn't because they, even they acknowledge it. it is, I, it's just like, all right, we 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 need to have this. All right, so just let us have it. Fine, I'll shut up about the damn alien. Now I'm over here. Oh, I forgot how big this area was. Nothing here. Uh, I'm sure many people walked that hall back in the day, but I won't be able to. Alright. And sadly, the doors are fucked, so I can never open it. This place is fucking big. Can't go down there. There's a breeze blocking the staircase. Oh! Oh, I just realized where I was. Ha <laughs> ha. Ha ha. Yeah. Any spooks on this side of the door? Because if there was, I'd be fucked. Alright, first things first is I'm unlocking the door directly ahead of me. So I can hide in the under the table at first. Bunch of those people turn into shapeless forms. Because otherwise, I'm screwed. The, dir <laughs> the directors become super aggressive. I need to make sure I I protect myself. Now then, I don't think it matters which door. Alrighty. Ah yes. Some kind of mess is stuck in the tube. Must be an mechanism to let get out of there, which there is. Yeah, let me start completely over. Oh, it's just a. I see what the what the spook is. I think I've only seen this particular spook once. I've seen a whole bunch of other spooks more often. Thank God, it's over. You kind of ruined the the sound thing. There we go. Yeah, I'll go into the director's office later. Ooh, a working phonograph. They were probably some of the first to record patient interviews this way. So now we can listen to the second. On the one hand, I just want to get out of here. But on the other, 
I need to know what's happening. See, at least she's I trying to figure to things out. I need to understand the dreams this place causes in me. And the visions I've had these past few days. Especially considering you doomed it's everyone in the... Outside. And the old mansion is even more menacing than before. She doomed everyone in the... I've taken out my last two candles, but like only hospital. one. In case I wake up before dawn. You're ruining the carpet! It would well, what if I need to be here, alone in the dark? Ruining the I'm carpet. I'm in Ariadne's room again. Only... Only what? It's the second dream. Yay! Is this the same dream? Why, of course. There's no sky, no horizon. Just pure darkness. Except for the fact that I can see trees. You know, that's kind of important. <laughs> Alright. Nobody out there. I'm sure you'll be just fine. <gasps> Now you get to live up to your, to your, the horrors that you've caused. All of this was because of you. Everything you see here was because of you. Death is everywhere in this place. It's because they heard that song. How could you? They had a long and fruitful life. Oh. What? You, you are me. Are you Berenice? Wake up. I need to wake up. God, I need to wake up. I don't want to go there. And see, that's kind of proof that it might be her who was speaking in the last one. Should I wake up? If I wake up, how will I help Ariadne? So it, it kind of looks like that's the psyche trying to protect, get away from all this. Every single bottle contains poison. Yay, poison! Like, like that's... That's the representation of her psyche that's trying to get away from all this horror. Hmm. That lift, that body. What's here? What? Oh. Everything's covered in rust. Is this the hospital? Why does it seem like centuries have passed? It's only been like 50 years, I think. The gate is st stuck. Thank God. What do you mean, thank <laughs> What are the monsters on this side? It reminds me of that. Yeah, it's an SCP where you open it and you're in a those dark tunnels and there's a thing that bursts through the walls. My God, is this our fate as well? Yeah, and it's because of what you've done. It's as if those instruments have been out in the open for a hundred years. Um, who are you? <laughs> are you also, me, the dream catcher. Give it to me. Ooh. Should I give her my dream catcher? What will happen to me if I lose it? So what's her dream catcher? Nothing bad will happen to me as long as I have this with me. Berenice. So yes. As long as she has this, nothing bad will ever happen to her. It's the only way to... There's a lock on the gate. I will use my dream catcher on it doesn't work so yes you can 100% totally just give up the dream catcher however there's something extra I wish to share what should I do should I give her my dream catcher you need to wake up don't trust her she'll take you down to a place nobody ever escapes from So there you go. Can I afford to wake up? Can I really afford not to push forward? <sighs> so yep. That's got that's a deep dark protective psyche being like, don't do it. Otherwise you're fucked. And then this one's like, oh you wish to explore further? Give me your stuff. So now the way forward is unlocked. Oh. Does this key open the door or my own psyche? Investigate. You need to know 
You need to keep going down. Keep going down. What should I do? Shouldn't I wake up? No. If you wake up, you'll never know what's happening to Ariadne or to you. I'm assuming that's her her curiosity slash intellect side being like uh if you want if you need if you need to know what the hell is happening you need to do this I do not know if you can just outright refuse it I'm assuming that this is a dream and she's supposed to find out what the hell's going on if you do need to actually move forward I'm assuming so hmm. there's a lock on the gate Maybe I should use this key. Your own psyche has been unlocked. What awaits us in these corridors of doom? No choice. I must keep going. No choice, she says. Now I'm very curious about something, and I'm gonna find out here in a moment. Almost all of us have heard the song. Will we end up like this? Yep. Good job. Ah, here we go. Or not? The end of the road. I can't go any further. I... Huh. This did not happen last time. <laughs> that did! I figure as much. She's not strong enough to keep him out. What, what happened to me? Where am I now? Only one way out now. Only one way out. What does that mean? Hmm. No, why would it need an all four? How would it help me escape? Why? What would I would need this thing for? From? What possible use could this all be for? On. Oh look, it's a What what do I pretend to do with a knife? What no what use could you use of a barber's knife? Or a shaving knife, I guess. It's a good old old style one. Hmm That can't be. No, why do I have use why do I have to use this noose? This can't be happening. I Subtlety is not strong with this dark. It's... Well, it was. Sort of. Not really. And it's just like, alright. Oh my god, I need to get out of here. I need to spell this out for this lady. Here's a noose. Is there no other way out? Should I drink from this bottle? No. I refuse to drink the arsenic. Never mind, I'm gonna drink the arsenic. What's the worst thing that can do that can happen if you drink arsenic? Pretty bad, that's for sure. I don't think it's that quick, but it's pretty bad. That was. Why would I do something like that? I know I'm <laughs> closer to understanding something, to finding that last puzzle piece, but I also realize there's no turning back. I feel like I've broken something inside of me that can't be mended. That's what you get for giving Each up your dream. Feels closer to that place. And further from reality, she gave up her it's still dark dream catcher. Outside. But it seems like the candle burned out a while ago. It must be close to dawn. Yes, it can't be long now. I have to find answers. <laughs> Get to the bottom of this matter. I understand Ariadne and what is happening to me. The story goes on, and it only gets worse. Baroness, what did you find? I need to find out for myself. Yep. The needle wasn't strong enough to play the cylinder. It's broken. So now the needle for it's done fucked up. <laughs> Spook! What? Hello? I don't know 
gambler, but I bet there's something on that table. I could hide here if the worst comes to worst. I'm sure it's fine in there, right? According to that, it's fine. This room is the same one where Berenice interviewed Ariadne in that film. Turn of the century psychiat psychiatry books. Luckily for them, lobotomies weren't a thing yet. And this. Ariadne's lost drawings. Depiction of a scene that must take place. So we now have two pictures. Yay! Looks like they tore something from the wall. I wonder what. I never did find out what the hell that was. Whatever that, the hell that was that got torn away. Alright, before I go that door. Oh wait, maybe I don't get to go to that door. Not Can't be open, the knob doesn't move. Yep, okay, so the door's locked forever. Yep, there's no way of going through there. Gotcha. However, we do need to go to this door. This way I can prove to you that I am smart. I'll, I'll have to explain the reasoning again. You're just going to have to take it on me that I did it. Sounds like a steam-powered messaging system control panel. What's it doing here? So, this was actually a pretty clever puzzle. So if you notice on the right, all the names of the places, the more... Blah, blah, blah. And then there's the director's office, which you saw had that thing in there. So we need to pump gas into the director's office to get that dislodged. And at first, you're kind of looking at this being like, what the hell am I looking at? Well, turn this once, twice... Three times. So now it's technically in the third slot. If you turn it once, it's on the first. Turn it to the second, it's in the morgue. Third, there. So if we move this down, it shifts it from going to the right down to here. And then it's either going to be going up to the top right or to the right. So now it's on the top right. And then this makes it go to the right. You can just do this to make sure. Yep. One more. And now the steam's down here. So I believe it should be up here. I think. I'm trying to find exactly where the steam is. There it is. Okay, so it's going straight across. We need this to go down. It's going up. Turn this. Director's office. Done. Hee <laughs> Now I just need to check out exactly what I unblocked. That's actually a really good puzzle, and it's... It can be confusing, but the moment you catch on, it's done. It's, it's a gimmick puzzle. I like it. So that's done. Let's see. Now, is this going to be the dick room again? By dick room, I mean the silence room. She has a mole. I didn't even realize. She has like a little dimp mole dimple on her cheek. Oh, it's this puzzle. Okay. Well, I understood this puzzle quick. A brief message from the friend of Dr. Bernice Prestigard. I found this among the photos in the history magazine. It looks a lot like the drawings done by your patient. The little girl, doesn't it? I've attached a copy. It must be a coincidence, but even so, discovering the origins of the image made me shudder. It's from the walls of a newly discovered chamber in the caves of... Altam Altamira in Spain. The painting is from the Paleolithic. Local archaeologists have ruled that it's around 40,000 years old. So, yep. Yeah, this this uh, presence has been around for a long ass time. Very little lift on that mantelpiece. The newspaper is illeg illegible. It's for the rest, just debris from the ceiling. A staff lounge with a fireplace and comfortable sofas. I've never seen anything like this in any of the places where I've worked in this modern age. It looks like someone's left that lamp there on purpose. I'll dare. Alright, so this is also another puzzle, but it's actually pretty easy. It's just long. But oh, well, it's on. It almost looks like a puzzle! <laughs> what do you do with this puzzle? Maybe it's that poem. 
She blinks, awoken by hunger. Tis nighttime, she listens. She takes flight swift, lethal silent. You scream and she tears you away from yourself. Satisfied, she lands on her nest and hoots to the wind, announcing her victory. Her firm grip paralyzes you, and blood spills as she feasts. She swells and beats her wings, and satiated, she sleeps. So it's interpreting each line to be part of the owl. So first, blinking eyes. Nighttime listens, so it's her ears. Flight wings tears you away from yourself is claws. So eyes, ears... Wings, claws. Eye, ear. Go down to the wing. Wing, claw. Next up. Lands on her nest. So wood, hoots, mouth. Grip, claws, feast, mouth. So wood, mouth, claw, mouth. Wood, mouth. Claw. Mouth. Yes, it actually does help me remember when I say it like that. Wings and then sleeps. So wings and then eyes. Yes! It was actually faster this time, too. The key hit by the passage of time. Tag must have belonged to an employee. Alan Sedrek, one of the hospital doctors, I guess. Now why are we gonna need you for? So thankfully, this was not the dick room. <sighs> Okie dokie. Now we'll go into the director's office. Hey, director. Yeah! Recording three. Look, it looks like a recorded testimony. I need to find a photograph where I can play. Now... Cylinder. The end of the story. Please, Baroness. Give me something I can use. The plants have made have even made it this far. So I'm gonna save some time and just say what it is is if you go back to the phonograph, it's like, oh the needle's broken. You need to get a new needle. So you need to do some more exploring. These documents belong to the hospital director. Nothing be regarding Bernice Prestigar, I'm afraid. Look at that look at that bastard. Ah, Dr. Jeremy Hartwood, founder of this institution. He was one of the first psychiatrists to give a damn about patient rights and well being. My girlfriend told me about him. I wonder if he actually is the, uh, the person, or if this is a game logic. The psychiatry diplomat of Dr. Edward Saunders, the hospital director. He was relatively famous in his day. Got it. <laughs> oh, this is fun. General examination by Edward Saunders. Five patients from the experimental group have disappeared, all except for the original test subject, Ariane Legrand Amsberg. If you remember, there's six cells. Hmm. I don't know if they have escaped or if the wall swallowed them, but they've left no trace. Security did not register any relevant incidents either. I looked for the doctor to inform her of this, but she is nowhere to be found. When I asked Ariadne if she had seen her, she shook her head and asked me if she was finally there. I asked her what she meant, but she didn't say anything else. It has been impossible to re-establish communication with her. I have a terrible feeling about this. So she finally made it. She finally made it there. Debris among debris. Debris, 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 debris. Alright, so. Why did you shake? What's happening? Alright, something was about to happen and then it changed its mind. Ah! Never mind, did change its mind. What was that? <gasps> oh, you piece of shit. I hate you. <laughs> You're going too fast. I'm going to slow you down. Son of a... Come on. I'll wait you out, you bastard. Are you actually going to make me go around in a circle? What if... I go in here, I leave, and then we'll see if you're still there. I don't, don't want to go around. Alright, 
You didn't let me push the Y button, I swear if you fucking kill me. Okay. I'm always... Paranoid about that. Just because I... It hasn't done it. Even when I beat the game, it didn't do it. So I'm assuming... That it's nice about it. But you never know. And that door is permanently fucked. Use. Right. I don't need this key anymore. It's this Resident Evil key. Alright, Doc. What do you have in here? Alright, like I say, like I don't know. Old medicine books. We're all extremely lucky that science has evolved as much as it has since then. Now we can just write them down. There it is. A medical instrument that enhances hearing. It helps help me hear things I otherwise couldn't. I wonder where you need that. Ah, Dr. Alan Cedric's notes. Disturbing conclusion of one of the hospital psychiatrists. Ah, Dr. Prestigar was right. At first, I was dismissive of her experiment. Why waste all those resources on proving to a sick girl that what she claimed to see was due to the abnormal functioning of her psyche? Yet it all made sense when she subjected the patients to the song in the music box and when the doctor began to describe her own experiences. The rapid mental and cognitive decline and the hallucinations suffered by the subjects in the experimental group became impossible to ignore. Faced not only with the new disorder, but also once the effects described spread to the hospital staff. For the first time in history, a contagious mental illness. A Nobel Prize on a silver platter. In light of the results, however, facts confound my expectations. The song completely broke their minds and took them all to, at the pinnacle of their madness. That's the one thing the data shows that they all have, share in common. Except for Ariadne Legrand Amsberg. That girl is the only one from the group that is still with us. Her cell is the only gone. The only free, the only one free of horrible screaming. And hers is the only behavior that hasn't changed. She's the only one to have gone un unscathed. And she still acts exactly as she did before the experiment. I think Dr. Prestigar was right about the reasons for this. Ariadne's file indicates that she was exposed to the song when she was barely a few months old. She was a baby. Her mind a blank canvas with limitless capacity for adap uh, adaption. Adaptation. Adaption. <laughs> Not like us. We broke. Or are going to break. Ariadne's mind, like a young tree bending under unbearable forces, has not snapped, but rather grown in a different way. It has twisted and therefore can no longer be broken. The song, the dark figure, the horrible visions, and dreams are simply her normality. Her everyday life since she can remember. If only I could find Dr. Prestigar and tell her. Tell her she was right. There is no solution. What will become of us all? So yep, yeah, because she grew up with it since she was a baby, it's, it's life. So... The dark figure is just life. Get get over it is essentially what her philosophy of life, of life has become. It just is. You just. Oh, that was the. <laughs> that was the, the the chest drawer. The you know the dresser. Yeah. <laughs> Spooky red dresser. Well, blood stained dresser. I mean, I guess there's blood on it, so it would be spooky. Here I'm saying all this and saying like, ah, I'm not gonna be creeped out. Meanwhile, I myself have freaking hallucinations. It's gotten a lot better, especially since I've gotten on that sleep apnea machine. Apparently sleep apnea made me have hallucinations. Funny enough, I just live with them. I just like, well, whatever. I only really noticed it when it stopped. Like, hmm. Things aren't moving around the corners of my eyes often as they used to. Funny enough, my brain has interpreted that as, oh, your eyesight's gotten worse, so you can't see stuff. So now I have a slight paranoia. <laughs> uh, isn't that fun? You know, I'll count my blessings. I have not run into the silence. I just screwed myself. Anything in here? So, I really like that they actually show show her using the stethoscope. These supplies were stacked in a hurry. I guess they weren't enough. So you can actually see her use the stethoscope, and that's awesome.
Really? Huh. Wasn't expecting that. Yeah, it was on the other side last time, so it does randomize. Depiction of scene that could take place. That totally looks like Daniel. Got it. An instrument used to inject medicine. It's pretty big and looks like they've used it a lot. They didn't have disposable syringes. Yeah, those old metal syringes. What the? You said her cell was normal. This isn't normal. Who's whispering? Go away, dark whispers. Son of a. Mmm. Hate. Ah, so she's just using it now. I see. I think I finally understand the mechanic of the Y button. If her heart's racing, it comes up on every single door for you to check. Just in case you fuck up. That was odd. Let me try that again. Yeah, I heard a noise at first and then it disappeared. That was really, really odd, actually. Hmm. I might actually do this without having to run into the, uh, into the other. That's as far as I'm gonna say, because I don't want to jinx it, which I already have. <laughs> oh, I can put this to rest. It'll be done. Again! But you know what? At least it'll be done. I'm gonna make sure I don't delete the video this time until I know for damn sure it's uploaded. Stupid processing nonsense. How are you gonna delete the whole... V I'm still mad at that. I'm still mad at that. I haven't deleted it yet. It's marked for deletion because it's like, oh, we can't do it. We're gonna... We need to delete it. But we want you to push the button. It's like you dickheads. Alright. Use this. Yes, this says the needle, but I don't need the rest of the Oh, I need to, uh... Oh. Mmm. Yes. I now have the needle. Hyperdermic needle. I think just the needle is enough. Now we can use this here. There we go. And... Done. We got all the, all the pictures, and we're now going to listen to the last part of the story. Right. This place, that thing, the presence, that's what Argos Legrand called that horror. Now I know why. It's anywhere the song is. In the hospital, in Ariadne, in me, everywhere. Maybe there's no solution. Maybe it isn't something you can just end. But maybe cut it off from everything, from... From this world, burn the bridge, return the song to whence it came. If I take the box to that place, if I leave it there, with the presence, I need to push forward just a little longer. I need to understand. I need to put an end to this. I need to go there. Funny enough, Daniel already thought of that, but he's like, no, I, my curiosity is too strong. I need to learn more about this. You know, just destroy the box and be done with it. I need to know. I need to make it. Although... Well, fuck the room, apparently. Whitney, do you need my help or do I need yours? Column A and column B. The wall is deteriorated and given way to something else. To someplace else. Look at this giant mine shaft that just showed up in the middle of the of the room. Among the darkness, I can see a dull and hypnotic greenish glow. Yay! We've made it. Down. Always down. It's fun, isn't it?
I want to skip this, but you, you need to understand the scale of, of this. Yay, good old mineshaft. So, yeah, essentially, there's no, as, as she said, get rid of the song so it can no longer invade our world. I don't know why you just need to, you need to put the music box in its own world. Whereas you could just destroy it. But I'm guessing it's the fact that maybe it can't be destroyed like that. I don't know. That, that's, that's the only thing that kind of bugs me. Um, it's not a big bug. Because something else takes place of it. But it's just like... You could, you could just smash it. Smash it, burn it, cook it in the stew. I don't know. What do you want? Look how deep she's going. Deeper and deeper and darker. This is where the Balrogs live. Yay! And even things even darker than that. Oh, man. I don't remember a whole lot of uh, Tolkien lore anymore. Oh, there were so many things. So many things like vampires and werewolves and the ghouls in the Barrel Downs trying to convert you to one of their own. Good times! Good times. Ariadne, did you want me to come here? Yes, we needed you to come here into this darkness where everything is destroyed. Yes, look at this place. Look at how destroyed. Oh, look who's uh, who's in front of the door. Speaking of the door, we're now in, uh... Artyom, beware the great door. The door, it sings. Maybe if I turn out the lantern, but isn't that me? What will happen if, if I turn it off? Should I turn it off? Yes. I'm so sorry. <gasps> I like how that the other side of herself was like, no. There's the presence. Hello? Dan, oh, I don't know what phone. this means, but I think it's important. Oh, thank God you're all right. What did you find? <laughs> yes. I think something terrible happened to her. She wanted to take the box to a place she called there. Does that make sense? The phone line is still no, fucked in this one. Listen, there's no time to waste. Get out of there. I'll take it from here. <laughs> I'm so glad that still showed up. Oh, I completely forgot. <laughs> you completely fucked. Oh. Ariadne was right. She was right about everything. Uh -oh. I've seen it with my own eyes. Even if it was in dreams, it's true. That place. The presence. It wants to keep I you know up. what I have to do. Now that I'm awake... I need to... I need to get the music box and find a way to take it there. Yes. I solved this riddle. Now that I'm awake, I can put an end to this horror once and for all. Now that I'm awake, I can... I can... Oh, no. Awake. Well, so much for that. So... Uh Actually, I'm thinking it on it now. I think there is a reason why you need to take the music box there. I think that's how you can save yourself. You're definitely going to end it no matter what, but I think if you take it there, you save yourself. Finale there. Yes. So we're going to go there. Right. What saved Ariadne would not save me. She had grown up with that melody and had developed a mind so distorted that it could withstand the horrors it saw each day. But there was another way out. To break the connection between our reality and that terrible place. To take the song and its nightmares to their place of origin. I was the only person who could do it. The only one who had heard the melody and, so far, lived to tell the story. Time was running out. The mansion was still far away and my damned car chose that precise moment to go belly up. Everything seemed to conspire against me. 
but I wasn't about to give up. There wasn't much time left, but I knew I still had a chance. Yay! So yeah, that's the only thing I can think of is taking the song there would save your life. Whereas if you destroyed it, you get rid of the song from the rest of the world, but you're doomed. Meanwhile, I guess the special supernatural rules is if you take the, the song to the place of its origin, it saves you. Somehow. Mystical nonsense mumbo jumbo Don't bullshit, but it that. works. Just find the box and take it to that place. Honestly, it's all you really need. Lots of mysticism has silly rules like that, Come so I can on, live with you've it. Got this. Do you? So now we're at the Lagrant Mansion. I can't see Ariadne from here, and I haven't noticed any activity inside the house. Ariadne, right, open up as police. I'm here to beat you down because you've spread the presence amongst us. You... She doesn't answer. I should go inside. <laughs> I should break into this house! And then he does it. So... Small metal boxes and ornaments, tarnished and unkempt. You can actually explore the house a little bit. Not completely, but a little bit. Not available. Now, here's an interesting thing. The exit, September 28th, 1998. Arthur Alexander Laskin. But, what? It can't be. It doesn't make sense. Why not? I still don't know. <laughs> the piano most likely from the 19th century. Maybe you will know. Uh, parts of this ending kind of just throw things out and just like, what? The lamp fell down from the ceiling, crushed everything below. Nobody seemed to care enough to clean this, the mess. Wait a minute. Alexander Laskin. Was the first dude I played as Alexander? I think his name was Alexander. Wait. Is it... I wonder. Is everyone who died during your playthrough, do they all have a picture up here? Huh. Maybe that's what it's supposed to be. <laughs> it still works. Ooh, what did you do? Ooh, you caused something. Argos Legrant with his eldest daughter, Elaine. What is this painting about exactly? This door will not open. Yep. Uh -uh. Neither will this door. No way. No way. Nah. -uh. Never. I th that's the only thing I can think of why that picture is special. I. I don't know. Maybe it is. Uh, I'll take a look at it when I do the chapter select. It'll tell me. Alright. Let's go in here. Now, I played through this and there weren't jack anything in here. If there were any ever any birds in here. That time is long gone. So I don't think I need to worry about any of the spooks in here. Broken mirror. Probably Argos the Grunt did that. I don't think Ariadne has ever been prompted to break them. Like all the other victims of the song. Because she sees spooks in the mirror all the time. An old radio on two stone bus. They're probably family ancestors. Yeah, okay. Can't open this door. A history book that talks about both the LeGrant family and the House of Ansberg. It's a lot older than the ones we found in the university. Damn, it won't open. This is funnier when you realize what's going on. A pile of old books. Most of them are over 100 years old. Mrs. Legrand, <laughs> pardon me for barging in like this, but I need that box. Elaine Legrand Emsberg, music box in hand, completely oblivious to what the future has in store for her. Doom and death. Ariadne's older sister. What a senseless tragedy. It's as if time had stopped in this house. The box. The music box I gave you. I need it. 
Please tell me where it is. Its box is upstairs. Thank you. I promise I'll free both of us from that cursed thing. Upstairs, Mr. Neuer. In my room. There. <laughs> she speaks the no horrible area's name. Away we go. If you're wondering, no, you couldn't go upstairs before. It actually prevents you from going upstairs. You need to find her first. Ah, alrighty. Let's take care of the box and actually end this properly. We won't actually have an ending. Okay, the box is somewhere on this floor. In this house, even the coziest nooks and crannies have a sinister air to them. These evil furnitures. The effects of Argos the Grand's madness are still present. Yay, darkness! Uh -uh. Can't open this door either. All these doors being unopenable. I can see the courtyard that opens to the main entrance from here. Hmm. Can't open this door either. Oh, the doors are locked. Uh -uh. Actually, all the doors are locked. Holy crap. In the south, you. Oh, what? Did. You just... No. Oh, okay. I... <clears throat> Screw me, then. I got confused, then. Ariadne and Elaine's mother. Natalie, the house, Hemsburg. I think I remember. Do you? Ah, yes. It's this place. There's so much dust on the sheets that you can barely see the original color. They've probably been there in decades. Mm -hmm. The little girl's personal notes. The name Elaine appears several times. Yay! Elaine Legrant, Amsburg with Ariadne in their arms. Full of doom and destruction. There we go. There it is. I see it next to the mirror. Unsurprisingly, I can't open it. There's a thick layer of dust on the mattress. It still looks slightly deformed, as if someone had been slept on it a long time ago. Maybe even Berenice Prestigard herself! Too bad her candles aren't there. But to be, Ariadne came to live here, so she probably cleaned it up. One of the few things she cleaned up. Alright, so here's where Daniel's just like, I want to play the, the, the mirror game! Yay! You know, that game that cost... What's his... Uh, I forgot his name. Holy crap. I just said it not too long ago. Har... Whatever. Cost that one dude his life. We're gonna. Ooh, 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 ooh. Was it worth it, Daniel? Was Where it worth it? Alright, so. Time for explanations! There's. God. What is this hideous place? Ah, it's not that bad yet. I think I need the lamppost to turn off to open the gate and to get. and get there. Yep. So, what do you need to do here, you wonder? So, if you look, there's items of note next to each of these doors. And going to each of these doors is a puzzle. So, this here is Isaac Farber. Should I knock? No! Fuck this puzzle. I understood it. I got it. Done. Easy enough. I don't want to do it again. However, even though I've done this particular puzzle, I'll do it again. Husher, that was his name. Sebastian P. Husher, should I knock? Yes. And there's a reason why I'll do this, is because... Mr. Husher? It will actually give you some extra lore bits. Sebastian P. Husher's a nightmare. Well, he lives day to day. So what is Husher's nightmare, you ask? Let's find out. Clowns! <laughs> it's crazy how his has a clown sense in here, but it, it is based completely off of each personality. So it's classic because it's a show because he's a storyteller. For uh, Farber, since he owns a shop, he's in his antique shop. I haven't done the other two. I will do one of them here. The history of my family, of everyone who stayed in the house. Yep, it's his puzzle. 
I don't think there's anything worth investigating here. But here's why I want to do this over again. Pasha wrote, Masha had not found the way out. Trapped and alone in her room, the darkness loomed over her. Where did she seek refuge? So you're crafting their story of what did they do. So what did Masha do while when the darkness caught her? I did I don't remember it, and I didn't remember it before. But I know that Alexander was alcohol, and none of them did suicide for sure, so it had to be the Bible. Masha sought refuge in her own Bible. However, no prayer could stop the shadows. And Masha disappeared. Hasha wrote, Julia found the impossible door again, but this time it was ajar. What did she do? And I got this wrong last time, but... So... So she either walked away, called her mom, or walked into... And I, I confused her with her brother. She's the detective, so she saw the door. It's like, I want to look into this and see what it is. I thought it would have been... I confused her with the kid because the kid hit the dolls. So I figured he would be the one to walk into it, being mischievous. But no. She's also detect... She's minor detective, so she would walk in there to investigate. Julia entered, wanting to leave it open. Great was her horror when she discovered that once on the other side, the door had disappeared. So she locked herself into the room. Hush the wrote, Catherine and Saul were locked in the bedroom when suddenly the door began to open. Then Catherine took... So Catherine and Saul, what happened here? What did she do? She took scissors! She took a baseball bat. No. She took salt. Catherine took little Saul in her arms. She couldn't comfort him or stop that thing that was lurking beyond the threshold from entering. So... So she took her son. She couldn't stop it. She couldn't escape. So what did she do? She escaped, or they held each other in their arms. Then they hugged each other and said the last goodbye before the darkness swallowed them up. And that's the final memory of his family. See what you've done, Husha. You abandoned them to their fate while you died in the in an abbey way up in the north. And then, yay! There goes a the lantern. There goes a second lantern. The lantern blew out. If I could just do the same with the rest. So what it is is, you kind of guessed it. Uh. There's four lanterns, but apparently what you need to do is you only need to do three of these to, to blow them all out. But, if you get all of these, you only need to do two. Now, I'm not going to do Farber's, because fuck that puzzle again. I can either do uh, Legrant, or I can do Berenice. I think she's had quite a bit, so I don't think we need to go through that one again. I'm going to go with this one. You can fail, by the way. There is a fail limit. I think when I read it, it was three. Our ghost LeGrant, should I knock? Yes. I'll go to the ground. This is unreal. <laughs> Our ghost LeGrant's nightmare. It's crazy that they actually rendered a model for him. <gasps> what? Um, I don't want <laughs> Can we not? Can we not? I know where this leads. 
don't do it. Don't do it. Please don't have the family be there. Ariadne? Hmm. This was reminding me of Max Payne. Am I? Ariadne, where are you? Ariadne, hold on. Dad is going to save you. There we go. I was trying to do left and right, it wasn't working. Okay, so we're doing Lost Woods thing uh, territory here. He's going to save them by taking care of his family. <laughs> it's not going to end the way I think, right? Monsters, you won't take my baby away. Oh, it is. It is totally. When, it's a hundred percent totally when he's going to whack them all. Oh boy. Now you're not gonna actually do it, are you? <laughs> the only one that actually has the balls to do to show an on-screen thing like that was uh. Eternal Punishment? Oh, I forget what the- Ah! I forget the name of that game. They're just... Monsters. No! No! What? Well, at least you didn't show it. I forget the name of the other game that did that. It's the one- It's... Crazy, wicked- It's the one where you- it's a good, bad, neutral system. Your family apparently died, and you're being influenced by darkness. But you, depending on how you play the game, uh, there's a lot of those like that. I don't know what's old. You're like an ex-con, and then there's monsters. That's about nice. it. I don't remember anymore. Damn, you've made it. This place looks pretty fucking cool. I'll be honest. Do I want to be there? Hell no. There's spooks in there. Return it from whence it came. Prepare the penance. There we go. There you go, monster. Here's the music box. The music has been returned to its source. Never. I wonder what could that be? <laughs> they left. They left the the pronunciation like that. <laughs> Ooh boy! <laughs> and he made it out. He made it out. Oh God! At last, I did it. I fucking did it. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. He made it out and actually survived. He put an end to the nightmares. But surprisingly, I can't help it still. So, yes, like I said, bullshit rules, but I guess it makes sense considering that there's a lot of magic shit that has bullshit rules. Yeah, this is the door that's boarded up, right? Yep. He's free from the influence. There's nothing else that needs to happen. Now it's time to just trigger the ending by talking to her and letting her know, hey, monster's gone. 
It's time for us to leave and welcome the brand new day. Even though it's almost nighttime. Hey, Ariane, how you doing? Everything will be okay, Mrs. Legrand. Ah, and that song will never play in this world again. Oh. Yay! He's been so tired forever. Uh oh. Why does everything I, have an um? I must have fallen asleep. What time is it? Why is it so ominous? It's getting late. Do you mind if I turn on the light? No. <laughs> he doesn't like the light. No. But it likes the sound. <laughs> For Elaine, my firstborn and my pride. So that's that's something I didn't it didn't click for me originally. I didn't understand the significance of that. And it's that the music box he put on there is Ariadne's. And I completely forgot about that point. Ooh. Nacio Herrero. Poor Daniel. He's stuck in goop. Huh? What? Where? Where am I? Hello? Is anyone there? Hello? <laughs> you hear that voice? Help somebody! Help me, please! Help somebody! Help me, please! Help! Let me out! Help! Oh no, classic horror movie trope. You've doomed yourself, and now you've always been behind a door all along. So yeah, uh, turns out that music box was... Had, there was two music boxes, one for Ariadne and then one for uh, Elaine. I didn't realize that the first box was Ariadne's, so... The first time I finished it, I'm just like, what? W what I was so completely confused, but now that I saw that, it's like, ah... And even barring that, ignoring that, uh, technically the song has not been removed from the world. The song still exists in the sanitarium. <laughs> it's on the walls, and in fact, what's her name played it. So she's told, she totally, what, the real Sebastian P. Husher? What? Nah, I, I don't think that's what that means. Uh, is there a real Husher? I don't. I'm. I haven't read enough books to really know. But yeah. So, what was we going on about? Me being stupid. Yeah. So yeah, she she totally heard the the melody in in the background as ambience, and then on top of that, she played it on the piano. So, yeah, it's totally ingrained in people's minds still. She's been infected, and the music is still out there. It's puzzled, but it is still out in the world. So I guess technically, if they wanted to, they could continue the story. If they wanted to. So, I've softened a bit on this. I, I do like the game. There, there are issues here and there with a few bits, but I do actually like this game. It was a neat little ride, and I hope you enjoyed the ride, too. Me going completely insane. Now I need to make sure of something. It is Laskin! Oh, shit. That's gotta be what it is. Everyone who dies probably makes a picture in, in the uh, house. Oh, so if if I had kept the one where Renee died, probably totally, totally had a picture up there. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. Okay, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. And maybe, for the love of God, this actually stays up. I hope.
But you know what? This recording was actually faster instead of it being three hours. Now it's only about two hours, slight, uh, a little bit under. So, y'all take care. And I'll see you next time. For more spooks. Alright. Bye!